Hello Cave Dwellers, I hope you're doing well. Um, Thursday marks the day when I hope to have videos finished each week. My goal is to do one and a half or one and a, a third videos per week so that I'm always slowly building up a buffer to get to a point where I can take a week off without interruption to the content for you. Um, doesn't seem to be happening like that at the moment. I don't know if I'm just trying to put too much into videos or I, I don't know what it is but I'm only achieving one a week at the moment so the buffer is just not there. Um, but Thursday is always a great day because it marks the day usually when I finish a video and yet right now a video is rendering. It's the video to do with the IBM PCs that we've been working on, which has now become a two-parter because I was trying to cram too much into it. So that's rendering. And while that's rendering, tidying up starts because this is what it looks like when a video is finished, tools on the floor, stuff everywhere, stuff all over the lab, bits of soundproofing material kicking around that I've been holding up to try and reduce the echo in normal videos. Of course, I don't bother with the, with the vlogs with any of that business. Um, and, the, and the green screen over there, which hasn't got a lot of use lately. I need to use that a bit more. Anyway, yes, so the goal is to try and get back up to one and a half, one and a quarter videos per week so that I can build up that buffer. Um, today, I had great fun capturing footage from the thief, the first thief such a great game i used it uh, as a test on the one of the ibms that i restored i loved the sneakiness it really did bring something new to the first person genre when this came out something uh which i felt in hit in the hitman series as well i really enjoyed that anyway we've got some more tools for you today we've got one from either side of the pond for a nice contrast we're going to start with tim tim is a long time supporter of rmc and he's going to show his us his cave and then we're going to jump across the pond to the YouTube channel Parallax Abstraction where Jerry is going to show us his cave. So let's start with Tim. Okay, let's see what Tim's got to show us then. So welcome to my retro cave. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> An awful lot. First of all, slight apology. It is rather full at the moment. I've kind of outgrown it. So um I am looking to move to a much larger room in the house, which is about three times the size. So hopefully the next uh, one will be a lot tidier. I think what I'm seeing down there is a lot of boxed Nintendo 64 games, which um, you don't often see. As with most consoles, the, the, the cartridges normally lose their boxes. So it's nice to see them down there. Hopefully we'll get a closer look. Um, as you can see, a kind of a eclectic mix of all kinds of stuff new old very old and this is kind of my work bench at the moment I'm just putting a composite output onto uh, Atari 7800 uh, Tim is obviously very confident in his shelving abilities we've got the N64 and snares Amiga 1200 I think that is uh, PS1 Dreamcast all up on these glass shelves. Very nice. I think there's an Archimedes there on the left as well. And uh, a bunch of other machines that are all fine and working, just not all hooked up at the moment, including uh, Archimedes I recently acquired. Uh, never had an acorn back in the day, so it's all new and exploring that. And and then my other desk, which is kind of, well, I've got a couple of modern PCs. Good choice of desktop background. I can tell Tim, at, at one point, this room was beautifully organised. All of that shelving, everything had its place. And over time, <laughs> things have perhaps just got a little bit on top of you. But uh, you say you've got a larger room to move into. So hopefully we'll get a tour of that new room when you move into it. And is where I uh, basically do the software side of things. That and browsing. As you see in my namesake, BFET66, I, uh, I do have a few signed autographs of the man himself, the Mandalorian. And then in the far corner, if I kind of stand back a bit, I um, there's an arcade one up I've modified, and so it has a Raspberry Pi 3 in it now, and it's able to uh, pretty much do every arcade machine from about 77 to about 2004. And yeah, a couple of CRTs, old Mac, 
and uh, as usual, the dog follows me around. Anyway, hope you like it, and uh, when I get the new one, I shall uh, show you that. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Tim. Um, yeah, it looks like Tim suffers the same frustrations as all of us. No matter how big your cave, even a space as big as mine, there's just not enough space. You know, I imagine in a dream world, Tim would have all of those things set up on a desk each with a monitor each so he can just sit down and play on them. There's just never enough space. It's, it's just a, a thing we have to accept in this hobby of ours, unless you own a museum. But even then, I've seen the storage rooms in museums at the Swindon Computer Museum, which I'm absolutely not allowed to film <laughs> for, uh, for good reason. Uh, even they just haven't got enough space to lay everything out. There's just never enough space. So, um, But in amongst all of that, so many hidden gems. Uh, and I hope you get on with the Archimedes. Uh, I've got a couple of completely destroyed ones because the batteries are just destroying all of the Archimedes at the moment. And um, I'd like to get hold of a working one. So uh, let us know how you get on with that because my experience of it didn't really extend beyond school with the Archimedes. And I think it's got a lot more to offer than those crappy educational titles that we ran. Right, let's go and see Jerry's video then at Parallax Abstraction. Let me load that up. So we travel across the pond now to Jerry's cave. Hey, what's up cave dwellers? My name's Parallax Abstraction, and this is the little tour of my gaming space to go along with uh, Neil's cool new series. I actually recorded a much longer one for him originally, but uh, yeah, he wanted them uh, to be closer to 90 seconds, so I'm taking another crack at it. So that's my big portable green screen thing there that I use for live streaming. That's the rig over there. That's now this is a this is a live stream setup. You've got your microphone on a movable stand there. You've got your RGB keyboard. You've got Mean Machine Dean on the second monitor from uh, yesterday's episode. That's cool to see. And of course, you've got the cat. I'm guessing it's a cat and not a dog bed there. Uh, so you've always got your cat next to you when you stream. The perfect streaming setup. I love that the green screen is strapped to the back of the chair. Brilliant. It's one of the current uh, tour videos actually I've got up right there. And this is what we call the library. Yes, indeed. So what have we got in the library then? Immediately we've got RPGs, we've got Half-Life, Half-Life 2. Um, got some classics in there. Baldur's Gate. I used to be a much more prolific retro game collector back in the early 2000s and I sold bit of Unreal Tournament. Sorry to interrupt you, Jerry. I'm just trying to see what's on your shelves here. All of the Call of Duties. Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six, the first one, I thought was stunning. Um, I was part of a clan, the European Tactical Squad, and we used to have massive battles on um, dial-up with other squads around Europe. Uh, great, great game. I loved that it bought that, just like Thief bought that sneaky element to first-person uh, gaming. Uh, Rainbow Six brought that much more strategic element and, and uh, level of team play that was missing in other FPSs at the time. I didn't really follow the series that far into it, but the first one I thought was stunning. I sold most of that collection in 2008 uh, because I was basically spending way too much money on it. So, but I kept some things around. These are uh, these are PC games and some console games in various configurations. Uh, I'm the original owner of most of this PC stuff. Another underrated game, Silent Hunter. Love the Silent Hunter series. You know me, guys, I like flight sims. Silent Hunter is just the same, but under the sea. <laughs> I like it. Console stuff is a bit of a mix, but uh, you'll see down here. I have uh, all the games are here. I have most of the hardware to go along with these uh, consoles as well, but that's at my mom's place because this is a pretty small condo, so I don't have a lot of space here. Nice to see a real mix of console and PC gaming. Usually people stick to one or the other, but uh, there's definitely a 50-50 split there of the consoles and the PC big box games. But there's my modest uh, real retro console collection. I'm slowly working on getting some stuff for it over time, but it's not going to be anything like the collection I used to have for sure. So you see here we got a fair amount of stuff. Still have the uh, the means to play uh, the 360 and the uh, the Wii stuff hooked up, and the 360 stuff hooked up in the living room. And this guy right here is my only retro computer for the time being. Uh, I feel like I should know who this little plushie is with the mustache. I, I, I feel like you're going to tell me, but I don't know who that is. 
Uh, this is the Commodore 128D, which is the version that had the um, separate keyboard and the built-in disk drive. It does work, but I'm lacking a video cable for it right now, and I do want to restore it, but you're going to see one notable omission, which is the keyboard. Keyboards for this thing are super rare and super expensive, so if anybody has a lead on one of those that doesn't cost the earth, definitely get in touch, because I would love to, uh, to restore this thing proper at some point soon. I shall ask my friend Mark for you, who is a big collector of Commodore machines, and he has a 128D, so if I can get you a lead, or if anyone else watching has a lead on a 128D keyboard, please leave a comment for Jerry. Got a few other manuals here, and one of my favorite pieces of software from the Commodore era. This is a boxed copy of the newsroom. I used to actually make a uh, paper for my elementary school in this thing. A lot of memories attached to that, that thing. So, yeah, that's a quick rundown of the room here. Uh, I might do a bigger tour of this on my own YouTube channel uh, before too long, because a lot of people have asked about it. So, yeah, hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and stay safe, everybody. It's such a nice thing to look at, isn't it? To have a library of games like that. And to have the hardware, he says he's got the hardware, so you can just pick something off the shelf and go and play it. Um, it's my dream one day. I know I've got the, the Apple crates, but that's more of a set. That's less functional and more of a visual aesthetic for the channel. I would love to have a room or just a wall that is just bookshelves. Um, the bog standard IKEA bookshelf, which is just full of big box games and console games and everything, so you can just pick it off. Cassette games, Spectrum and Amstrad games, a whole wall of them. Oh, the thought of it. <laughs> one day, one day, dream big. Um, uh, I would love to have a library space like that. That's fantastic. Tim and Jerry, thank you so much for sending in your videos today. Really enjoyed them. Um, oh, and a portrait of the dog on the wall there. Very nice. <laughs> Keep the videos coming in, as always, guys. Uh, we are heading towards Friday. We're heading towards the weekend. Uh, the insanity is certainly setting in with some of you on Discord. Um, I know Andrew, who has been in quarantine because he did have the symptoms of um, coronavirus, um, finally gets his freedom today. So he gets to leave the house. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. I can't remember. I know he, in particular, has been going stir crazy. So uh, keep your spirits up, guys. Uh, we're always there in the comments and also in the Discord chat. So if you ever want to chat 24-7, there's people from all around the world in the RMC Discord chat. Come and hang out. Come and chat. Uh, you don't have to be alone and you don't have to go... Well, you, you, you will go crazy, but you might as well do it with us in the chat room. <laughs> Speak to you tomorrow, guys. I've got some tidying up to do. Bye-bye.